In today's video, we're near Santa Clarita, California, and we're gonna be looking at the myth of the oak of the golden dream. Hey everyone, welcome to Sidetrack Adventures, this is Steve. Right now I'm at the Placerita Canyon Nature Center in Los Angeles County, and I think most people who know of the history of California know of the gold find at Sutter's Mill in 1848 that led to the gold rush. But the very first gold that was found in California, or at least found by non-natives, was found right near where I'm standing in 1842. Now that gold find didn't lead to quite the same gold rush the 1848 find did, but a whole myth has sprung up around this gold find. A myth that even involves the Walt Disney Company. So today, we're gonna look around this area and we're gonna talk about the myth of the Oak of the Golden Dream. We parked right next to this old cabin. This cabin was built around 1920 by a homesteader named Frank E. Walker. The Walkers raised 12 children here, and this cabin was also used in a number of movies. The sign in front of it only mentions the movie the Hard Ombre, which I've never heard of before, and the title sounds like a movie you need to go behind a curtain to find, but apparently it's an old western starring Hoot Gibson. There's also a thank you letter from John Wayne inside too. An interesting side note is that Frank Walker is also Cher, the movie star and singer's great-grandfather, and she spent some time here as a child. Let's head over to the Oak of the Golden Dream and talk about its story. I always like these kind of side notes to history. The oak should be just down this short trail, though I think it's on the other side of the main road. Back in the early 1840s, this area was all part of a huge land grant called Rancho San Francisco. On March 9th, 1842, a rancher named Francisco Lopez decided to rest under a large oak tree. While he slept, he had a dream that he was floating on a pool of gold. When he woke up, he was a little hungry, so he pulled some wild onions from the ground, and in the roots, he found flakes of gold, making this the first documented find of gold in California. Gold wasn't the only big find here. Starting in the late 1800s, the oil industry was huge throughout the Los Angeles area, and in 1900, they struck white oil here. White oil is a rare, long-burning oil that requires minimal refinement. Unfortunately, the white oil well didn't do as well as expected, and the oil company went bankrupt in 1902, and the oil industry was gone from Placerita Canyon completely by 1940. Now getting back to Francisco Lopez and the Oak of the Golden Dream. Unlike the gold found at Sutter's Mill a few years later that started the California Gold Rush, this gold find didn't get as much attention. Knowledge of the gold find stayed pretty much within the Mexican territory, and only about 2,000 people, mostly from the Sonora area of Mexico, came to this area. During the Mexican-American War, the gold mine here was destroyed by Mexican forces in order to stop the United States from gaining control of it. We've arrived at the tunnel that goes under the main road, and the oak tree should be just on the other side of this. This is a pretty neat painting in this tunnel under the road. It looks like it tells the story of this area up to the time of Francisco Lopez. Here are some natives hanging out by the river. And here is Francisco Lopez, next to the oak tree, with the gold he found. And right behind us, is that oak tree. You can see a number of plaques here at the tree. It's definitely a unique looking tree. A year after the gold find, 
Francisco Lopez held a ceremony here to mark the one year anniversary of his find. At that ceremony was his niece Catalina, who was 11 or 12 at the time. 71 years later in 1914, there was a Lopez family reunion here where Catalina shared the story of the gold discovery. A relative who was at that 1914 reunion wanted to have a monument placed here to honor her relative, and in 1930, Frank Walker agreed to donate this land near the Oak of the Golden Dream for a park. It's a pretty cool story about Francisco Lopez falling asleep under this tree, dreaming of gold, and then waking up and finding it. The only problem is that may not have happened. There was no mention of a tree or any dream until the 1930s, almost a hundred years after the gold was found and long after Francisco Lopez had died. In fact, the original marker for the gold find wasn't even here. So that's what we're gonna to try to find now, the spot of the original marker. Where the gold was found and the site of the original marker should be just right over there. While clearing this area of brush, Frank Walker found a pile of boulders at the discovery site. At the dedication ceremony in 1930, a temporary plaque was placed on the boulders and a plaque was also attached to the oak tree. The plaque on the tree called it the Oak of the Golden Dream, which was the first recorded instance of it being called that. The boulders and the plaque would have been right in front of where we're standing, but they're long gone. In fact, the original plaque was stolen within a few years of it being placed here. Up to this point, there had never been any recorded mention of Francisco Lopez dreaming of gold or having any dream at all. The first mention of him dreaming under the tree didn't come until 1936, and the first time it was claimed he dreamed of gold wasn't until the LA Times mentioned it in a story in 1956. The legend continued to spread and grow from there, and by the 1970s, the story was that he dreamt he was floating on a pool of gold. The legend is a good story, but it does kind of shortchange Francisco Lopez. It portrays him as a simple farmer who found gold by a stroke of luck, when the truth is, Lopez had studied mineralogy at a university and had been systematically searching this area for gold when it was found. It wasn't luck or a dream, but he was someone who knew what he was doing and it paid off. Still, I guess if it wasn't for the tree, we wouldn't be talking about him today. We've only gone about 100 feet or so from the oak, and this is the park boundary. And on the other side of this fence is Disney's Golden Oak Ranch, a working movie studio. I mentioned Disney's involvement in this story earlier in the video. For years, they claimed that the actual Oak of the Golden Dream was on their ranch, and even had a plaque made for it. I'm not sure why there was a dispute about the tree, but in 2012, they needed approval for some development on their ranch and gave up their claim to having the real Oak of the Golden Dream. But yeah, for some reason, there were two competing oaks for a while. So that's our look at the first discovery of gold in California and the myth of the oak of the golden dream. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and we'll see you next week.